having breakfast outside on this cold morning. <laughs> cold. Lisa is uh, full on miserable. So we're hanging out here and today's plan is to go down to the Canyon District and do a couple of hikes that our good friend Mallow recommended to us. Mm -hmm. We didn't drive at all yesterday after we got to the campsite. Yeah, and not having any cell phone service, I think, helps <laughs> us get out of the needing to instantly respond to every message that we get. Or thing. like boredom. I was yeah. sitting there like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I literally didn't know what to do. I wish I had brought a book, even though I don't, I don't like to read. <laughs> We're adapting to the idea of boredom and how important it is to be able to just do, do, nothing. do nothing for a little while. Uh -huh. We were going basically as fast as we could, building this van and then as fast as we could trying to get this channel off the ground for the past six months. And then before that, we were working our startup jobs. We've always been on the move. Um, I think we're, we're not doing a great job yet of uh, taking things slowly, but I think, we're, I think we're starting to move towards that. just like that we are off we had a little bit of a rough start with the morning the car finally started um, and we are on our way to Canyon Village today we thought we might spend some time exploring that area it is really pretty out here we went through a canyon just now where there was a ton of trees and now we're going through open lands where they're just mountains for days as you're driving from any major location in the park to any other major location in the park, there are all these little stop-offs, these little places on the road that just have a little wooden sign and just say like, Sparkling Canyon Creek. I don't know, I'm making that up. But every single one of these has been amazing. We've stopped at every single one along the way and each one of them has been beautiful and looks entirely different than the one before it. And it's been just mind-blowing. Here, we'll, we'll show you. All of that is just on the drive between Mammoth and Canyon. What an amazing place. We are walking on the Wapiti Trail right now. It is really warm. We took a lunch break and even a nap break just in hopes that we would be able to, you know, miss the highest sun still pretty hot and it's very exposed out here but it's pretty we're supposed to get to a really clear lake called clear lake soon so very excited for that made it to clear lake god it's beautiful it's really pretty look at that it smells just like sulfur. it's a little sulfuric uh water is incredibly cold i really want to go for a swim but i don't know if i can you can keep going i don't think we're gonna because it is Oh, it's so hot out here. <laughs> Uncomfortably hot. Yeah, I just don't think we make it. Whew. sweaty. Yeah. We just did the hike down to the lower falls, which is 100% worth it. It is just straight downhill and which means straight uphill afterwards. Right. We didn't stop. The marketing team at Yellowstone was working overtime on this one. We are looking at the mud cauldron, the mud volcano, 
the dragon's mouth spring, and the black dragon's cauldron. Ooh. It definitely has a very sort of spooky dragon's den sort of feel. You feel like you're gonna see this giant serpent hoard, hoarding over a bunch of gold that you gotta fight and get a bunch of experience points. I mean, look um, at that. That's pretty terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, good job Yellowstone marketing team. You're really, uh, <laughs> you're really doing it. Status update. Haven't found any dragons yet. We did find this cauldron though. I guess he's probably out hunting right about now or something. So this little bubbling mud pit here, apparently a while ago, used to shoot 10 to 20 feet into the air of just gooby black mud. <laughs> Shot straight up into the air. Uh, and then for a while it just quieted down, but they are surmising that, uh, it may come back and roar back to life. It feels honestly like they let you get a little bit too close to some of these things. Like, do you see this thing? <laughs> it's uh, boiling hot water, not boiling hot, scalding hot. I feel like it could just, <laughs> yeah. any moment, just wipe me out. Right, or even just like a stiff wind would put some boiling water in your face. Woo. I love how close to nature you can get here. After a day like today, ice cream was definitely the right choice. Mm. And Kitty gets to hang out with us in this beautiful park. Right outside of Mammoth. It's a great end to the day. Yeah. The sun is going down, which is really key. We're in the shade. Uh -huh. And I just wanted to sit on grass. It's just, yeah. Perfect, relaxing end to a very action-packed day for us. Lots of mm. hikes, lots of... Smells. Lots of smells, <laughs> lots of bubbling, weird liquids coming out of the earth. Um, so yeah, from here we're just gonna watch the sunset, eat some dinner, call it a night. So, thank you so much for watching again. See you in the next one. It's supposed to get up to 100, yeah. I think, today. Something like that, like 85, 100, I don't know. 85, 100, same thing, right? <laughs> I just need you to look at one thing. What do you want to look at? His little paws. There he goes. Oh, yep. Bye, kitty. As you're driving from one major location like Mammoth, what is it called? You hear some rustling every now and then, and I freak out because there's supposed to be bears here, but I think that one's just a, a bird, and there's Josh. Ready? Are you actually recording this time? Oh, hi, kitty. Welcome. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. Should we wait for the black dragon to come back or no? No? Okay. Yeah. It may come back and roar back to life. So you better eat all your food and don't waste. <laughs> so that's that's what that's what I think I've learned at Yellowstone so far is follow the signs. You know, a lot of places you can uh <laughs> I bet I heard someone. <laughs> I just heard somebody yell and thought that they had fallen in. <laughs> nope, wasn't that. Dash my man. Dash my man. <laughs> What do you got to tell us? So many things to say.